Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about what are the observers and uh, when and where to call the observers. In Magento, events and observers plays a very important role. We can modify or create new events and observers based on our requirement. Like plugins and preference, it is also used to extend the Magento functionality. Observers uh, is one of the design pattern in Magento and observers are based on publish subscribe pattern that means publisher sends some message to subscriber and multiple subscribers will receive the same message for example consider radio or tv broadcasting one person will send message and receive the same message by other people so similar kind of pattern we will use for events and observers in magento let us consider one event here event means when something triggered for every event occurred, an action should trigger. In Magento, events are dispatched some data. We will use that data and modify according to our requirement with the help of observers. In Magento, we have a lot of events. Either we can use or create new one based on our requirement. Now let's see how to create observers in Magento. Okay. So first create this events.xml file in our custom module in the events.xml file you have to mention something like event name equals to so you have to mention that uh, uh, event name so for that i am just considering this class magento code model code so in the previous video we have taken this add product method for the plugins right so in this video we will use the same method and create the observer okay basically this method contains so one event is dispatching that is sales code product add after that means whenever a customer is trying to add a product to cart after the product is added to cart then this event will be triggered at that time we will execute some code okay so this is the event name and this is the parameter so using this parameter we will get all the information of the items which are added to the cart okay for creating event for this just copy this one and it as a name for this event okay so that means whenever this event is triggered the observer we have to execute some custom code for that so here you have to provide the observer name any unique name okay now you have to put this instance so instance will be the path of this observer that means Dev Hello World Observer create some PHP file here. Now that create this add product.php. See observer add product.php. The file is empty. Okay. We need to write the observer. Now, use one event class that is okay, and second class is okay, okay, this observer we will pass this uh, as a parameter in the execute method and this one we will implement okay so the class implements observer interface okay this one
okay like this we need to mention inside of this execute method for testing purpose whether this method is executing or not just put some log just add some log okay now we will test this observer is working or not so this observer will be called whenever the product is added to the cart now we will try to print some data see here in this event we are dispatching some data right so what's in this data now let's print this uh, items data so that we will check so whatever the data that comes whenever you trigger this event okay for that so how you can get the data from the event using this items okay using get event method and after that get data or some debug okay let's save this one let's check in the front end now let's try to add one more time okay the product is added okay see the number of items count changed to two okay now let's check in the log so that whatever the items that we are added to the cart these items list we will get so that we can change price we can add custom price we can change the item name or quantity whatever okay now open the log file where log custom log see here all the items we got right so whatever we have added to the cart that I can fetch now see item information so you can modify any data after the product is added to the cart this is just one event Magento provides a lot of events just check in that list and try to change this in the events.xml and uh, whatever the items as a parameter here is showing you, you have to change that according to the event name okay for this event the items will trigger for different event different parameter will show okay just try to add a new observer and check it if you are not getting this output please add it in the comment section i will help you if you want to change uh, any quote items so you can use this observer and after the product is added to the cart or before uh, uh, the product is added to the cart you can change the default implementation using these observers okay so the log is triggered now this is how you can create an observer in machine to okay. events events.xml we can add this in uh, either etc front end or etc admin html as we are just working for front end i am adding that uh, events.xml in the front end folder if you are working with uh, admin so add that in a admin html okay so the same process you have to follow for uh, front end and admin also again there are two files we need to create one is events.xml that one uh, either you can add in front end or admin html and uh, according to that we need to create one uh, observer class okay like this here we have to add uh, observer which is a parameter we need to pass in this execute method and uh, what is the observer interface this is an interface class so that you need to implement that class okay in the next video we will discuss about uh, types and virtual types okay thanks for watching please subscribe